I knew we did translation work at VGR, you know, as, as one of the things we did. But it didn't really hit me how important it was until we went to Malawi um, for um, the dedication of the Voice of God office there. And on the Sunday, we had an open house on Saturday. And on Sunday, we had a, all the churches in Blantyre came together and we were in this big stadium. I think it's called Kamuzu Stadium in, uh, in Blantyre, Malawi. And uh, we had thousands of believers in there. And uh, we had wonderful singing Malawians sing awesome. And we played a tape, uh, Be Certain of God. And uh, while we were listening to that tape, Brother Random would say something and start off like, and it reads like this, and Elijah the Tishbite. And then he would go on and tell the story and then he would say something that would really bless you. And you'd say, amen, but the whole stadium would be quiet, except for a few people who understood what he said, very few people. Um, so then the translator would come, na, 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 and it'd be like, Rah! the whole stadium would be an uproar, like the rafters were gonna come off. And then it died out. And Brother Random would say that. Something else, and it's like dead quiet. And the translator would come in, na 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 mulungu, this, this, and it's like Rah! and he dies down. And at the end he says, Have you a need today? You know, is uh the money so low that you can't pay your rent, you know, you want to buy uh, shoes for your children or uh, uh, feed for your animals. And, and he says, if you want to remember anybody, he says, stand to your feet. And nobody stood their feet except a few people who were around the area where, you know, some of the visitors or maybe one or two of the ministers who understand English. And everybody stays seated. And then the translator would come in say no 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 and the whole stadium was shuffle 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 everybody standing their feet and with each phrase it was just being pounded to me that so if somebody had not taken the trouble to sit down and translate this message from the manuscript staying exactly with what the prophet said all these thousands of people seated in the stadium would have never heard be certain of god would never have understood what Brother Ram was saying. No way. It's like, this is important. This is really important. We got to do this. And this is God's prophet. Hello. You know, this is the one man that God sent with a message to call out a bride. Everybody's got to hear it. This is our eternal destination. It's like the whole world's going to perish, but God sent a prophet with the word for the day to call out a bride from the confusion. Absolutely, they have to hear it. And it's got to be the best translation possible that's as close as possible to what he said because the eternal destination depends on it you know so it just it it hit me like a light bulb it's just clicked and um i didn't know i was going to be involved deeply with translation work after that and so it, each time i do a translation or i'm in the studio recording i see those faces i see those people and it's like oh, awesome now they have the seals because before it was like you could listen to Uniting Time and Sign and Brother Branham is talking about since the seals, this happened, this happened. Well, we have a reference point because we've listened to the seals. They don't. They don't know what he's talking about. They, they don't know there's a white horse rider, a red horse rider, a black horse rider. But as the translations keep coming, oh, each translation is a new message. You know, I was back in the day where they would be like, oh, we have 10 new cassettes, you know, and or 50 new sermons that have never been heard before. And it's like, I got to have them. I got to listen to them. And it's, it's the exact same thing with every translation. It's a new tape for a certain group of people. And they get to hear more of what God's prophet said in this day and age. So it's, it's, it excites me that way. Um, when a new translation go out, um, especially in our language, because it's people that you know and you can relate to. And that's another, like I said, my favorite feature about the tablet is before it would take months and years for translation to get to them. With the SD cards coming, it's like once you gave them to them, they'll still be short within a month. They would need another SD card because there's one or two more sermons in that language. But with the tablet, 
everybody becomes a distributor and everybody can get it. She can get it and distribute to that one and that one and that one and that one. And it spreads that much faster. Um, so it's really exciting to see what the Lord has been doing for the people and things that we've not been able to do in a long time being that, for example, you know, uh, VGR printed about 206 million spoken word books, but with from 2014 to, you know, 2018, for example, we had distributed books on SD cards that are in excess of 265 million, something that we were not able to do within over 30 years. We were able to do in four years with the SD card. And now it's like the options are even growing a lot more with the tablet. It's like, it's not just the text, it's the text and the audio. When you get that update, you get the translated sermon on, on your tablet. So there's still a lot of work to be done. Like Brother Branham says, the hour is late and the need is great. Let them be certain this morning that you are God. And it's your spirit. Oh, you say. Pindurai Munamato. It's really it's awesome to see what the Lord has done through Voice of God and through Brother Joseph and how um, it's just when Brother Branham was reading in the Bible about Joseph in Genesis and what he did, you know, um, he he had that dream about there was going to be famine and uh, this is what needs to be done. And Pharaoh is like, who else can I put in charge of this? You're the one who gave the interpretation. It's like, you're going to be in charge of it. And over the seven years of plenty, they stored everything up, you know. And then when the famine came, that was the only place you could find nourishment. And when he was reading that, God told Brother Ren, I'm going to give you a Joseph. And uh, here we are today, uh, decades later. Like Amos says, it's going to be a hunger in the world, not of food or drink, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Everybody's searching for the truth, uh, but God stored it up and gave Brother Branham and Joseph, who now has raised granaries in the different cities and towns and countries around the world, just to give this word out to the people and selfless people who have been sponsoring these tablets and supporting this work. And uh, many times I wish, man, I wish these some of these people would just charter a big plane and bring everybody over to see what's going on firsthand. Um, it's it's precious. And uh, can't wait to see what else the Lord has in store for our country. And uh, But he definitely has the program. And uh, many times the little things, just like that day, how it was exactly to the day 55 years ago, Bill Random had talked about that. And here we were doing exactly that. The Lord is doing a great work. We feel it's going to be a short, quick work, but while it lasts, we want to do the best that we can and uh, um, press on together with the believers around the world. Everybody's got a part to play. Uh, some of them are making tablets right now at Voice of God. Some of them are sponsoring. Some of them are praying. Some of them around the world doing different things, but God's great machine is, is working. And it's an honor to be, to be a part of the work. Um, that uh, and see what God is doing in our in our day, but um, until He comes, we truly we will work until Jesus comes. Till Jesus comes, we work. Till Jesus comes, we work. Till Jesus comes, and we become.